and in this today's video we are going to talk about importance of codes in bash shell so it's really important for you to understand what is this uh, what is the purpose of codes and where it has been uh, uh, used uh, especially whenever you deal with special characters in a shell so in a shell so there are certain characters so which are other than alphabets and numbers which are called as meta characters and also we call them as special characters and whenever there is any inputs which is holding any special characters it will enable its special meaning and which causes the termination of the word unless until it is quote quoted so here in this today's video we are going to talk about elimination of speciality of special characters by using a uh, simple example which is which we are going to use an echo command here and uh, where uh, to the echo command i am going to provide a special character and i am going to demonstrate you how you can eliminate that particular speciality by using three ways so one is backslash and the other one is single quotes and whereas the other one is double quotes by using these three ways you can eliminate the speciality of any special character whenever there is any input which you are passing to any command is holding any special character so let's try to uh, let's try to have a small demonstration about this particular uh, special characters here i have an echo command so usually you might be aware of echo command what is the purpose of echo command is whatever the input you provide to the echo command it is going to provide you that particular input on the output screen so here all the characters whatever you have provided are simple alphabets and even if there are any numbers there won't be any an issue assume if you have any special character like andrusic character so if you are using and you are going to get some issues so here echo star is giving you something else what it is trying to provide you is it is providing it is trying to provide you the files which are there in that particular directory so echo command is not actually pulling the files information in the local directory whereas what is actually happening is your bash shell is going to replace that particular star character with at all the possible files in that particular directory and all those files are given to the echo command to print so hence you are getting this particular input so assume if you have one more andrusic character to be printed so you are going to get so another set of files so if you would like to disable the speciality of special characters so as we discussed so where we have three ways so one is the basic backslash character so backslash is going to escape the speciality of that particular special character of a single character so if you have a one more special character so you have to use one more backslash so using backslash putting or i mean putting the backslash before any special character you can nullify the speciality of that particular special character so if you have more special characters in the inputs you are providing so it is going to be a bit difficult for you to give those many backslashes so in that case a quotes is going to help help you over there so here we have single quotes and double quotes so let's talk about firstly about single quotes so in single quotes whatever the input you provide it will simply gives that particular input uh, your shell is going to provide that particular input to the command whatever you are using without any replacement of any special specialty of any special characters so in any simple words in, in i mean in a simple words to say like uh, single quotes doesn't have any special characters so you use any special characters doesn't matter so whatever the input you give so it simply prints on the output screen whereas double quotes you have another way of printing the same uh, uh, or another way of nullifying the specialty of any of special characters by using double quotes now so there is a slight difference between single quotes and double quotes in single quotes how you are getting even though there are any special characters how you are getting that particular special characters printed on the output screen is single quotes is going to escape each and every special character by using backslash 
so here backslash is also backslashed so that's the reason backslash is getting printed so otherwise each and every character is backslashed in single quotes whereas in double quotes almost all the characters are uh, backslashed other than a dollar character and a command quote so only these two characters are treated as a special characters in double quotes let's see where this can be used so dollar can be used to access a variable so let's say i'll give a define a variable and if i would like to define uh, access the variable in double quotes it is possible you are able to replace the content of a variable in double quotes so the same way you can also go and uh, use command codes also in double quotes so to execute any command so today date is so let's say i want to execute a date command so here you are you are executing a date command over here by using command codes only these two characters are treated as special characters in double quotes and these two special characters also can be nullified by using the help of backslash so backslash is also treated as a special character in double quotes to escape the speciality of any special or the two special characters available in double quotes so that's all for today okay so thank you